Roof Goose Jack is changing the way HVAC professionals get their job done, allowing contractors to take control of their install schedule while providing long-lasting benefits and a superior quality of craftsmanship. In today's video, we're going to highlight the key steps for confidently installing a Roof Goose Jack utility termination. Measure off a control point the distance needed to keep the outlet of the Roof Goose Jack utility termination 18 to 24 inches from the piece of equipment being installed. Once the pilot hole is drilled, align the gasket on the base of the device. Center the utility termination over the pilot hole and begin fastening it down to the roof. After the utility termination has been mounted to the roof, use an extension and a drill to make up to a four and a quarter inch hole through the roof using the pilot hole previously drilled. In this install scenario, the contractor is using a seamless TPO tapered roof flashing. The roofer starts by using a roof membrane cleaner to clean the area around the termination and the outside of the termination where he expects the flashing to meet the vertical section. The base of the roof goose jack has a taper that allows for a tighter fit when sliding a seamless roof flashing over it. You might find it beneficial to warm the top of the flashing once it's cut before sliding over so the material is as flexible as possible. It's best practice to follow the appropriate flashing detail outlined by the manufacturer of your roof. In this install scenario, the roofer is required to weld the flashing to the roof, then create a connection between the flashing and the pipe using the appropriate adhesive and stainless steel hose clamp. Prepare your material to be fed into the termination. After you have fed the necessary length of pipes into the termination, you can install the two sets of draft stopping. With draft stopping in place, slide the top of the termination onto the base, ensuring you have pushed it down completely and the holes are lining up with the threads on the base. Trim the flexible cap using the provided shoulders as guidance. Place the seam of the jacket so it faces up. Begin by lacing and securing the first three pull-through locks that are in the crinkled portion of the jacket. Finish off with the rest of the locks. Rotate the jacket so the seam is face down and the keyway on the jacket is positioned accordingly so it locks on the top of the termination. Then secure your hose clamp around the flexible jacket in the channel provided. Secure the second provided hose clamp at the outlet of the flexible cap. Install all 10 screws around the exterior of the device, ensuring not to over tighten them. The 
RJ4 installs quickly and easily, provides superior roof access and weather seal to all line sets coming through the roof. The Roof Goose Jack RJ4 Utility.